it is a brand new day. I am going to head out to Dallas again today. We're going to go pick up more food and maybe get a haircut, eat some good food, and get this Sunday fun day started again. It is nice fall weather. Weather's been cooling off and things have been looking pretty good. You know, going into about, I think it's the eighth year that I've had this car, this 4Runner. This is an all-around well SUV, this 4Runner. It hasn't really created much problems at all and I think that's very important because you want a good overall car. I was looking up some information online and seeing what the benefits of would be to have two vehicles and you know it's nice to have two vehicles in the event that one breaks down but financially it just makes more sense to have one and you could always do something like rent one out while your one's getting fixed so just brainstorming of different options I mean unless you just have an incredible amount of money laying around so that you could drive two cars because it's boring to drive the same car for a long time you know sometimes you want to drive something more compact tires rotated just got the old change done yesterday it's got a hundred ninety three thousand two hundred seventy four miles it is amazing that these Toyotas can rack up these many miles and have no real problems the other day I was talking to a customer and he said that his Chrysler it had some thermostat problems and this and that problems and I'm just thinking he should have just been better off buying a Toyota instead but I'm happy with it over at these gas stations like that Chevron just now it said it gas is $2.97 for a gallon of gas and I'm gonna show you a little trick today where you can save a dollar off per gallon of wherever you are just by utilizing a few tricks first stop is gonna be at Kroger and the reason I like going to Kroger I'll show you here in a second Kroger's has a good gift card system you can download this app called Kroger app and then you can shop online or you could shop here at the store and accumulate fuel points there's different kinds of fuel stations throughout your city just look up the locations and you can utilize these points to get up to a dollar off per gallon on gas I've been utilizing this trick for a while now and I just wanted to share it with you so that you could save money on gas okay so these are the different kinds of gift cards that you can get and if you look up here it says that you'll get four times the fuel points on gift cards Okay, so I'm going to pick up one of these cards and something else that I like to pick up is food cards. So like there's a card I got last time. Here it is. It's a $25 gift card at Subway. So I eat Subway anyway. So with these cards right here, I'll get a lot of double points, triple points, maybe up to four times the points. You could even use this for things like... MasterCard, prepaid Visa cards, this will all work. Okay, so here's my Kroger receipt. Just wanted to show you how many fuel points that I earned from that purchase. It was a 55 total dollar gift card amount and it doubled my points up so it said that I earned 110 fuel points today. So for September's fuel points I have 346 and then in August I had 495 so I'm saving a lot by adding up all these fuel points. Okay, so let me just go into my Kroger app here and show you exactly how many fuel points I have now. Bada bing bada boom. So 498 it says in August and 348 for this month. It's a good amount. Oh, it is time to eat something good. Our favorite place. Panda Korea. Yes, yeah, time to eat. Hey. Okay, I'll sit right there. What are you gonna eat? Everything? Yeah. What are you looking in your eyeball for? Did you find a gold nugget? <laughs> one of these hot bowls here. I think this place makes some amazing hot bowls. They call it pibimbap. Pibim is like mixing. So they put like rice, vegetables, steak, or you could put like chicken. If you're ever in the Longview area, I recommend Panda Korea. Good stuff over here. 
Yes. Mm hmm. That's what I'm talking about. What did you get? Squid? Uh -huh. Mm hmm. I'm stuffed made all that delicious food disappear. Time to head on out. Hey. Eating good, feeling good, out and about. Go kick up your feet. Nice, comfortable flip-flops. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so let's see how far this is gonna be. I have about a little less than three quarters of a gas tank. And according to the Waze app, it is saying that my destination is 144 miles from here. So my gas tank range, it currently displays 240 miles of range here so I have quite a bit of range to work with I think that I'll be able to drain this range and be able to take it from 240 to a little bit above a quarter of a tank so once I get to that point then I'll go stop by like a Kroger and fill up over there little pit stop got about another hour and maybe 20 minutes to go and be at the Dallas area but for now I mean it's a good day to just get some vitamin D along the way I don't like taking long rest stops on the way maybe drive like 45 minutes or an hour and then take a little stretcher so wanted to share something real quick with you this is a tire rock kind of extractor let me show you how this works. You see there's like a little piece of rock right there. Any kind of little rocks and stuff that are inside your tire thread, it's gonna be affecting your miles per gallon and also your tire thread life in the future. So this is a great tool to get these little rocks and pieces out from the tire. See, There's another chunk right there. You'd be surprised how much stuff that you accumulate into the tire well while driving. Okay, here we are. See, you can see the sign, it says 279 regularly. But uh, watch how I use my Kroger points and get a huge discount here. Let's see, these pumps are out of order? Hold on. Are all the pumps out of order? Uh-oh. Like, there's no gas at all? What the heck? Huh. Well, that didn't work. I have a backup plan. We're gonna go to Murphy's then. Alright, so we're waiting to pull into the Murphy's gas station because the Kroger one was out of gas. So the same thing applies here at Murphy's. You apply points here too. Okay, so I'm an existing member and you could look here and you see that the gas prices here are gonna be $2.71 a gallon. But watch this, it's verifying that I can take a thousand points off. That's a dollar a gallon, so from 271 to boom, 171. So now it just needs my credit card information or you know, tap to pay. Okay, tapped it. Murphy's. Saving money on gas. Look at this. Now we're just gonna fill on up like I normally do. And I get up to 20 gallons off using this little trick here. Okay, 
Mm -hmm. It is good. Begin fueling. Filling on up as much as I can. Okay, so it didn't give me a receipt, but I got $22.59 for 12.91 gallons. So there it is. I got a full tank of gas. 398 miles that I can go on this full tank of gas. And that's pretty good. I'm pretty satisfied with that. You know, I didn't spend a whole arm and a leg to do this. And just about anywhere you go, there's going to be a Murphy's USA or there's going to be a Kroger. So those are the two places that I recommend shopping at to build these points up. There you go, some police scanner activity here. Somewhere on the road, there's a cop. Reducing speed. Making okay, sure that I'm keeping up with the flow of traffic, though. Oh, those are some nice socks. <laughs> and feel good, relaxed. Yes. <laughs> See that traffic going that way. The thing I like about this Waze app, and I recommend everyone use this app, is because it shows you the best way to go. It shows you where cops are hiding. It shows you even where potholes are into the road. I use this all the time. That's the city life. Encountering traffic. Nothing you can do about it. That's why I think country living's nice sometimes. The city. Look, it's the World Trade Center over there. Yesterday was 9-11, you know. I remember exactly where I was on 9-11. It was in college. I was at my apartments. I was studying dental lab. It's amazing how much time flew by. 9-11, that was years and years ago, but... It's just amazing. Alright, got all the nice groceries here. Time to load it up into the trunk. This is why having a spacious vehicle is nice. up a whole bunch of Perry Bucket and headed off to go eat it with her cousin. What? What's in there? We They saw it ah. earlier. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Careful, careful. Oh, Don't have to do that. Just leave it there. I nearly know what. No. Hi. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> uh. It was a cheese. Cheese. Anna. Her name is Anna. Me. No. I put that video. Anna. 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 Yeah, you're really good. You're really good. Yum 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 yum. That looks good. Other way. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, that was good seeing my cousin and her kids and
catching up again. It's nice to catch up and touch base with family. Dinner time. Yes. Soul Garden. Let's check this place out. Look at all these side dishes. I've never seen this soju before. This is soju from Jeju-do. Jeju-do is an island right under South Korea. You get to drink it. Mm -hmm. Product of South Korea. Shake it up. Yes. Mm-hmm. This. There you go. Crack it open. There you go. It's all you. She says it tasted real smooth. I don't know. I'm not going to try it because I'm being a responsible adult and try not to drink and drive. There's a lot of healthy side dishes that come out at this Korean restaurant. I think Korean restaurants in general have a lot of healthy foods. Okay, so some of the foods that are here. Got some broccoli right here. That's a potato. That's a tofu. That's bean sprouts. That's tempura. There's the meat. We're just waiting for the coals to come out so we can cook it right on top of here. And then the oil will drip out onto the side here. That's like a noodle. This one's a little fishies. Got garlic. Over here, got pepper, some salad, all kinds of good stuff. And bottles. Yes, lots of stuff to eat. You're starting to turn a little bit reddish. <laughs> it's something real hot. Spicy peppers. You yeah, alright? You eat something spicy too? <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> that spicy garlic. Stuffed and got about a two and a half hour drive back. I think that on the way back, I'll have plenty of gas. Maybe make it till the next day or maybe halfway through the week before I have to go fill up again and show you how I can use my points to get more discounts on it. Yas. Didn't even finish all of it. Still had some beef in here. My phone lights up, but it's never you I can't help but feel so lonely And all these things that I can't undo I'm falling apart so slowly We come alive when we're faded The summer nights that we're chasing Want this feeling to last forever Making 
yet again another pit stop. We're at the Love's gas station and my wife's going to use the restroom. In the meantime, I have still been using this Moji Pick device right now. I have it at the happy face icon. But you can see here, it illuminates pretty good at night. It's still working good. In my memory, I have it set to different kinds of icons here like the happy face, the cool. You can rearrange it to what you like and delete the things off of here that you don't like. Like for example, if I wanted to get rid of this one, I could delete it from the device memory. Okay, it says, oops, Tron wasn't deleted. So this thing, sometimes it does get buggy, but the ones that I have on here right now, it does work, okay? Okay, so to get it to delete off of here, you have to turn the device on and off manually. Right now I'm uploading another picture here. It's about 42% transferred to the device itself. The on and off button is here on the left side, but no, it does work. Just give it a second here. Oh my God. <laughs> That's messed oh. up. <laughs> you can even have that displayed on your thing. Oh man, that's too funny. Texas Rangers, you know, display your favorite peachy, football peachy, team. Peachy. Peach, I didn't upload the peach thing. Oh, man. <laughs> Back at home at last. It was a good eventful day. What did I learn today? I learned that good food is always good. I like eating Korean food because it's nice and healthy. I also went and found some new different kind of biscuits and croissants and pastries at Paris Baguette in Dallas. So that was a nice experience. Got to see my cousin's baby. Babies are so cute. Although I don't have any, it's nice to see my cousin's baby. And also, on the way back home, I avoided this accident. This guy was just speeding like a maniac, trying to pass or like race another Camaro. It was like a Challenger, and he was passing on the right side, but luckily nothing bad happened on that way back from home. And most importantly, you learned how to save more money on gas by shopping at Kroger or Walmart. So just use those points. Remember that the gift cards, the Visa cards, those things double up as points or sometimes even quadruple up if you get prepaid Visa MasterCards and rack up points that way, okay? Thank you for tuning in and until the next time, I'll catch you later. All right, peace.